Dryolstoids are known from the Jurassic, the dentition is thought to resemble the primitive mammalian dentition before the marsupial eutherian differentiation and they are candidates to be the last common ancestor of the two mammalian subclasses. Fruitifusa resembled an anteater and probably ate colonial insects in much the same manner as these animals do today. But it was not related to them. This indicates that specializations associated with feeding on ants have independently evolved many times in mammals. The discovery of Juramea provides new insight into the evolution of placental mammals by showing that their lineage diverged from that of the marsupials 35 million years earlier than previously thought. The later Omea was a groundbreaking discovery as this little mammal is the oldest known placental mammal. However because it is in a very basal position, it still lacks some features that are seen in modern mammals. For many years, there has been a large debate as to whether Purgatorius is a primitive member of the primates or a basal member of the Plesiodipiforms. It is now believed to be the earliest example of a primate. Zalambdalists was a hopping animal with a long snout. It had strong front paws and even stronger rear ones, sharing specializations to saltation similar to those of modern rabbits. Leptic didium is a special animal because of the way its anatomy combines quite primitive elements with elements which prove a high degree of specialization. The presence of epipubic bones suggests that, like marsupial, they gave birth to larval young. Leptic didium lived in the European subtropical forests of the Eocene. The discovery of Velaticotherium provided the earliest known record of a gliding mammal. It has been noted that most gliding mammals are predominantly herbivorous, which would make Velaticothea carnivory truly exceptional. Rapinamimus was the largest known Mesozoic mammals. There is good evidence that it fed on dinosaurs, though it is not possible to determine if it actively hunted lived dinosaurs or scavenged dead ones. In life, Barry Lambda probably resembled a large taper, with a small head, long tail and bear-like legs. It seems to have been quite successful for an early pantodont, though eventually it seems to have been replaced in its ecosystem by other pantodonts, such as Corypheidon. This one had one of the smallest brain-body ratios of any mammal, possessing a brain weighing just 90 grams and a body weight of around 500 kilograms. The skull of Stylonodon suggests it had a blunt face, and a very short snout. Its canines had developed into huge and its molars were covered in enamel and continued growing throughout its life. It fed on rough roots and tubers. Pentailed tree shrews are the only known mammals that consume alcohol every night, other than humans, consuming the equivalent of 10 to 12 glasses of wine while showing no signs of intoxication. Large tree shrews are the most predominantly terrestrial of all tree shrew species. They are usually on the forest floor, the primary location for their foraging, although they spend part of their time in trees.
Pholidosicus, like the hedgehog, it was covered in thin spines. Unlike hedgehog, it had scales on its head in a helmet-like formation. The Hispaniolan Solnodon looks much like an oversized shrew. Because of a lack of natural enemies, it did not evolve defenses against predators, and it is a slow, clumsy runner. Study confirmed that it diverged from all other living mammals about 78 million years ago. Long-eared hedgehogs can be agriculturally beneficial since they eat harmful organisms like termites and scorpions. They are not found to damage crops since they live in areas that are mostly wasteland and desert. Due to its small size and reclusive habits, the Eurasian least shrew can be difficult to spot. It has an extremely high metabolic rate and must eat frequently to avoid starvation. Star-nosed moles are able to smell underwater, accomplished by exhaling air bubbles onto objects or scent trails and then inhaling the bubbles to carry scents back through the nose. They are easily identifiable by the fleshy appendages ringing its snout which is used as a touch organ, known as Imer's organs, with which this hamster-sized mole feels its way around. Onychonycteris was the strongest evidence so far in the debate on whether bats developed echolocation before or after they evolved the ability to fly. A lack of enlarged eyes indicates that this species may have been diurnal, solving the problem of how primitive bats evolved flight without the ability to navigate at night using echolocation. Alongside Echaronycteris, it is thought to be the most primitive known bat species. Flight has enabled bats to become one of the most widely distributed groups of mammals and they are among the most vocal of mammals and produce calls to attract mates, find roost partners and defend resources. These calls are typically low frequency and can travel long distances. The brown long-eared bat has distinctive ears, long and with a distinctive fold. It is relatively slow flyers compared to other bat species. Their hearing is sensitive enough to hear a moth in flight. Along with some other noctules, bird-like noctil is one of the bat species that prey on small nocturnally migrating birds, pursuing them in open air. Megistotherium was a large hyenodontid that lived during the early Miocene. The land that is now the Sahara Desert was much more fertile in this period, grassland and rainfall was plentiful and provided water for large fauna to hunt. Species of hyenodon have been shown to have successfully preyed on other large carnivores of their time. Some of them were among the largest terrestrial carnivorous mammals of their time, others were only of the size of Martin. Imanes is the earliest known true pangolin. These animals have large, protective keratin scales covering their skin. They are the only known mammals with this feature. They are nocturnal and capture termites by using their long tongues. They are threatened by poaching and heavy deforestation of their natural habitats, and are the most trafficked mammals in the world. Sunder pangolin is listed as critically endangered. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 